Hey, I hope you're well. Candace Benbo had a new neighbor. We haven't formally met, and I hate we're doing so under these circumstances. And he was a noisy new neighbor, so she wrote him a note. When you come home every evening and blast your music, I've come to expect it. One night, it went too far. But last night, fam, you tried it. You really, really did. To make sure her note was served up right, she also baked a cake. So just cutely put it on Facebook and put it on Instagram and social media. Like, I tried to find the nicest way to tell my uh, neighbor to shut up, literally. The post went viral, and a couple days later, her neighbor, Tommy Amaro, came to the door. I'm Tommy, your neighbor. And I just start laughing. He starts laughing. We hug each other. The two quickly came to find out they had more in common than they would have ever imagined. He'd just lost a daughter and was coping with that unexpected loss. I was remembering my first holiday without my mom. My mom passed away three years ago unexpectedly as well. And we, re we began to bond over the fact that, you know, you have these two people who come from these vastly different worlds, so you think, right? And they're going through the same thing. A dash of compassion and a sprinkle of kindness was a recipe for an unlikely friendship. This one pound cake and this really petty letter like, created this opportunity for him to say, you know, I'm not, it's been a rough road. And for me to say, it's been a rough road for me too. For both of them, Candace says, underscoring the importance of kindness.